Well, Chase Young is back, and he's on the verge of a return. Now, Young will be seeing the well-known orthopedic surgeon, Dr. James Andrew, on Sunday to determine if Young will be ready to play some football. Now, um, Dr. Andrews, will he will give Chase the green light, and if he does, Chase will return to practice this week and could be playing against the Colts next Sunday. Now, Chase has been out rehabbing his knee since tearing his ACL last season, and certainly if the Washington Commanders are set to make a improbable comeback in this 2022 season, well, they can certainly use some help with Chase Young on the defense. Now, however, the defensive line has not played that badly this season. You know, Smith-Williams, I think, has done a pretty commendable job in place of Chase Young. But let's face it, folks. When Chase Young is on, he's in the class all by himself. And having Young back in the lineup is, is going to be something that Washington can really use. So, of course, along with having, you know, John Allen, Deron Payne, Montez Sweat, I mean, this could be the shot in the arm that the commanders need in order to get themselves back going in this season. Uh, now, as of course reported earlier, the Washington Commanders will be going without their starting quarterback, uh, you know, Carson Wentz, who suffered a broken finger on his throwing hand against the Bears last week. And you know, Wentz has had successful surgery on that finger and will begin serving his four game his four games on injured reserve. But for Chase Young, this has been a long road back, and some question how effective will Chase Young be? Now, for many of us who have watched football for years upon years and decades upon decades, we all know that whenever a player comes back from this sort of injury, the ACL tear, for instance, it takes them a good solid year to come back 100%. And this is after they've been cleared to play some football. So we may not want to put too much stock into the effectiveness of, of Chase Young right away, and I would expect Young to be eased back into the game anyway. I don't expect him to play every single down. But I also feel like it's going to take him all of this season and all into next season until we can truly see if Chase Young is going to be the Chase Young that he was during his rookie season in 2020. Folks, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like, comment, share it with all of your football buddies. And I will see you in the next one. Let's go, Maniacs, and hell to the Washington Commanders.